As I'm in the shower, being brutally sexually raped, brutally sexually punched, attacked, and both my ears bragging about how they have the legal right to beat my face, how they got permission to beat my face severely, extremely, how it just feels so good to beat and to beat that over and over and how I just sit back and be scot-free planning the next time to beat her face now make the nation believe that she's the one who's planning acting innocent and acting <sighs> acting like she is so enraged with what she's making controlling and setting up because she is the one plotting, planning, premeditating, planning on beating my face further, controlling my arms, my hand, to lie, to say that I'm brutalizing my own self, that she's not doing nothing, lying, saying that she swung at my face five times. No, they have never just swung at my face. They have kept me in bound for hours and hours for five days, over five days, beating me relentlessly, telling me if I go to the hospital, they were going to take my sons and daughters and throw me in a psych ward, throw them in foster care, beating me while I'm sitting on the bathroom toilet, on my bed, on my daughter's bed, in my living room, in every last one of my sons and daughters' rooms, relentlessly beating me, slopping my face in the shower, digging into my vagina, grabbing my vagina, rubbing my vagina, controlling my hands while punching me relentlessly and projecting it onto me. You all do not know the horror and terror that I live severely extremely what what they have made, controlled and set up and it's what extremely getting away with lying using their most sarcastic voice saying that it's all for the little boys and girls of the home nation in their most sarcastic voice and bragging about how it is fake and how they are using them to get their way to beat to enslave me and to torture my innocent sons and daughters this is before i got out the shower as I'm getting out the shower, being brutally sexually raped, calling me humongous, spreading me out, how they're so happy I can't be in my natural shape, have my natural body, while relentlessly suffering me, lying, saying that they swung at my face only five times, and it's so soft at that. Then I only had an Android phone that they controlled as I tried to take pictures of my busted lips and busted eyes where I could not even open my eyes and even see that my mother also has witnessed over several times my cranium really was broke for them beating me in my eyes telling me how she wants my eyes how she is punching me in my eyes solely because of the shape of my eyes it is not opposite you all really are believing that what they are speaking through me, yelling and screaming, it is opposite and it is not. Punch her harder, slap her harder. No, I want her, I want her fucking punch harder. Punching me relentlessly harder. I feel so good hyping up how good she feels that she punched my face. Now I'm so more evilly happy. He promised me, they promised me that I would get to use her face as a punching bag. They own me. They own my body. I have no right to my body. Telling them to get up screaming. Showing the torture, the torment. 
that they are already here. They don't have to get off my body. It's their exact words. We don't fucking have to. It's their exact words. We don't have to. We can do what the fuck we want to do. We're not going to let go. Laughing. Jail is so funny to them. Any authority is so funny. We are the authority. We own your brain, your body. We own your sons and daughters. Projecting their ugly stink. Faces and mouths onto me. He promised, he promised us daughters and sons to me to be my human punching bag. And that's what they are. Their human is their exact words. I am repeating their exact words. And still am repeating it. I'm just not verbally speaking it. Thank God I have never spoke those words asking this specific boy at the time of 13 years old at 14 years old what you really control set up in acts down to you're too beautiful you ask that not me. And I'm saying that because those words never came out of my mouth. They thought this bastard to get away with murder. Murder, evil murder. They already know that I didn't speak it. They already know that you plotted, planned it, premeditated, and spoke it. And they allow you to antagonize me with it. It is not no longer direct. I have never changed Janae, Shanae, Tiara, Tiana, Kivante, Deshaun's diaper. I never sat alongside and watched them their diapers get and change. I had my own baby that I was taking care of. They wasn't taking care of my sons and daughters. How bad you wish they look. And I'm not going in details about proving it down to the very end of who took care of my sons and daughters which was solely me and how they was not involved. They didn't buy them anything. They didn't give me after baby gifts, before baby gifts. They didn't bring me diapers. I had more pampers than they had. Stop lying on me. Yes, I had more and kept more pampers than they had. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Stop fucking lying on me. Wasn't around them. And it don't matter if they didn't live in this state or not. I still knew their Pacific business.
Stop lying. We're trying to give my credit. Even me raising my sons and daughters, knowing that from sun up to sundown, it was solely me in that apartment, raising my sons and daughters. Never been molested. Didn't know about sex. Did not have girlfriends. Stop lying. When they're in the shower, you lying, bitch. What the fuck am I saying to you? I'm just sitting, you're just gone, disappearing. I'm not telling you to stop watching my sons in the bathroom, the bathroom, using the bathroom to get out of their rooms. Not just that. You are a liar. And this is all year, every second, moment, hour, seconds that don't even have a fucking name to it. Stop lying. Not once was you there bringing me my food stamp card and you made it look like she was there helping me because she complimented how good my son's in here look from clothes I bought, clothes I lay away, haircuts I walked up the street and went and sat with them and got and paid for it. Bitch. That was me waiting them at my doorway because of what your lying nasty self said waiting for them to get off the bus bringing them me going to their agenda that's my name signed to that not no one else it's mine that is my work helping them They were not beat. They were not beat. Um, they were not. They, they were not even a little bit beat. They didn't go to school. School social workers wasn't calling me. They didn't have to call me. If I had a conference, it's because you heard me even call to make one. Even though I knew they were doing overly excellent in school. Thank you. Thank you. Like I said, thank you. Thank you. They do. They look very handsome. They look very cute. 